My name is Judy Armstrong, and I had the privilege of selling real estate in the Stanton area for 36 years. My first big listing, which was so exciting for me, was a gorgeous house, and it was known as Sherwood. It originally was one of Stanton's six uh, female academies or schools founded in the 1880s mainly by the Presbyterians. There were so many Scotch-Irish settlers here in this area and they were very interested in education. Today, the remaining schools are Mary Baldwin and Stuart Hall, but we once had a plethora of schools around here. Sherwood Female Academy was located uh, between Sherwood Avenue in Stanton and East Beverly Street. It's a three-story structure and the girls lived on the third floor which still exists in the form of rooms. Well, when I went to list this home, I was so excited to find the name Josie Bush, 1888, etched in one of the windows. I was further excited to go in another room and on the plaster of that room was written, uh, day dress, evening dress, afternoon dress, tea dress, and it appeared that all those girls did was change clothes all day. Well, there was a balcony on the second floor that no longer exists, and there are long windows which once opened as doors onto that balcony. I found this out by going to City Hall and researching. Back in the days before computers, they had file drawers, and I went in the basement and I pulled out this file drawer that was dusty, and it was wrapped with a lavender ribbon. I unwrapped it and I saw stationery of those girls walking on the balcony with parasols in those days. And uh, I showed it to the current owners and they were thrilled. They had never seen how that school originally looked. So this was an adventure. Now the other thing I want to tell you, all of Sherwood Avenue once belonged to that school. And they were going under because the competition was so fierce with these girls' schools that they had to raise money. So they sold lots off, which are now occupied by houses on Sherwood Avenue. And those date between 1880 and 1890 for the most part, although some are more modern. Most of them date from that. Well, they raised money, all right, but it wasn't enough. And in that file drawer was a letter from the headmaster saying to the grocer, Oh, please, sir, you don't expect payment right away for the groceries. We can't manage that right now. Please bear with us. And so with <laughs> tears in my eyes, I, uh, I closed this chapter, but I want to tell you that Stanton had a wonderful female academy right there.